came to the Goodwill bins to come thrifting, my husband's truck is parked right behind mine, y'all. He is at the bins without me. He didn't even tell me he was coming. <laughs> Let's go in and see what he found and see what we can find. How else truck? Mm -hmm. That's what you found? See it. Nothing for me? No, there's a bin over there that's full of seashells. Seashells? And I see it like everything else is junk. Junk? All right, well, I'm going to go look for myself. Yeah. Here's a little tote with some stuff. A little bird. These are cute. I like the colors. It says missile thrush. I'm assuming that's a type of bird. This one looks the same. These are cute. I like the brown color. And I don't see any chips on them. Oh, this one's cute too. A little seashell. This one has some chips on it. Here's some aluminum spoons. It is the whole set, so that is a good find. Also found these two art pieces. This back is hard, so I'm thinking of painting the whole piece and then adding like a stamp or a transfer or something right here. I love that there's two of them, so this will be a future DIY project. Oh no, they're starting to dump the bins and I have not looked through those yet. I don't think there's anything, so I'm going to go on the other side and look before they start dumping them. Here's some stuff that I like. Oh no! Oh no! He's dumping the bin too! Look how cute this is! This would fit so perfectly on a shelf. I think it might just be decor, but I'm cool with that because even if it really works, I would just use it as decor. This cute little angel. What is this piece? I don't know, it has an interesting shape to it. I'm sure it's some kind of kitchen object. Okay, we gotta dig. We gotta dig the bins down here because the top stuff, they're not gonna dump. Toys. My husband said everything here was junk. Except for some seashells, which I don't like. Like if it's like a big conch shell, I'll thrift that. But seashells is not normally something that I thrift, so I don't know why he would think. I won't want that. Yeah, look. Whole bin of shells. I'm gonna leave these here. They're gonna have to go. Okay, all right. We're out of time. We're out of time to dig. Found a shirt for Ryan, the Southern Shirt Company. This one's cute, long sleeve. She will like it. And right next to it, I pulled out this quilt. Now. It has lots of issues, but look at the colors. Look, love this. We are definitely going to be saving it. The backside is all yellow. It has this pink trim, and I just love the patchwork on this one. Just found these two long sleeve Guy Harvey shirts for Waylon. So I'm finding some really good stuff for my kids today. I will be happy to know I found stuff for all my kids today. So I found this Foot Locker jacket for Brandon. He's going to love it. And then I got this box of little toys for Ren. It was all in here, so I figured that's perfect. But if I end up finding stuff in the new bins, then I'll exchange it. <laughs> but I always get comments when I buy for one kid. Somebody says, what about the rest of your kids? Well, I mean, it's the bins. I never know what I'm finding. That's adorable, but it's a 4T. So no way it's gonna fit around. Look at all of these train tracks in here. Y'all know how expensive this is. We spent so much money on this kind of stuff for Brandon when he was younger because he was obsessed with Thomas the Train. None of my other kids were. Well, which one is this? This is definitely one of them. It's usually on the bottom, but I don't see the name. Yeah, he was very into that, and Thomas the Train was not cheap. All right, let's go dig. All right, I found a few things. Look, this little bird for Wren. Oh, so cute. She's going to love that. Look at this precious little bunny rabbit. This is going to go in a mystery box. I'm so happy I started doing mystery boxes because now I can save these little items I would have to leave behind because I wouldn't know what to do with them. Somebody's going to get that in a mystery box. And then I got this ticking fabric little cutoffs. But they are perfect for DIYs. Even if you just cut off a piece, look how cute it looks in this basket. 
and I got these little cups y'all this is my favorite pattern they're made in England I love these I'm just sitting on top of some saucers and you could put a little plant in it and I got this adorable basket like look this whole setup together how cute does that look and then this was just so weird that I just had to get it Look at the little baby wrapped in a little cabbage leaf with some wood, um, some wolves and some bunnies. And then this little bird right here. Like, what is going on? Somebody, somebody needs this in their house. So, I got this piece as well. Alright, guys. I don't know how I ended up with a cart full today. But I definitely got some good items. This quilt is beautiful. Love this weird piece right here. You know, I love this whole setup. Got some stuff for my kids. And look at this. This is such a good find. Like I said, I love how skinny this is because the problem when you find these is they're so big and then you don't know where to put them. And this will fit on any shelf. Oh, yeah, I forgot about these measuring spoons. Good trip to the bins today. So I hope y'all enjoy this. I will put a total on the screen of what I spent and I will see y'all in my next thrifting adventure.